Computer vision is a field in where you take images and videos that basically just have pixels and um, maybe sound associated with it, but you don't really care about the sound. You just kind of care about the sequences of pictures and videos. Um, and so you take these pictures and videos and you put it in a computer. And, you know, a picture or a video is just kind of a sequence of numbers. And so this is very large, you know, 2D matrix that has a whole bunch of numbers. And so you can detect patterns in those numbers and you can um, use pictures to figure out, you know, where you are in the world, you know, figure out how far away something is from you, um, figure out the shape, um, be able to segment things. Um, and so all of computer vision is basically this idea that you can take an image and a video and put it into a computer and allow them to make sense of something going on in that video. And so it's a very broad field. There are many, many tasks. Um, I think the canonical one that everyone knows is the cat recognition. So like you have a picture, is there a cat in there? Is there a dog in there? And you kind of detect the cat and where it is and things like that. And so that is kind of like the, the whole gist of computer vision is just making sense of the world through a computer without a human having to intervene. People can, you know, say, why would I ever want to, you know, process an image on a computer and have it tell me something that I can look and, you know, figure out for myself. But there are many really important real world applications that have been used for computer vision. Um, and so there are really simple ones that, you know, are used every day. So um, if you run a red light, they take a picture of your of your car and there's a license plate there. Um, maybe 50, 60 years ago, they ran that through a human observer to figure out what the numbers on license plate were to kind of send you your ticket. But nowadays, they can just take computer vision application and isolate where the license plate is, get the number, and automate the whole process for you. Um, so it kind of saves on um, time where um, humans can be doing more important things to kind of speed up the process and, you know, reduce wait time for things that are, you know, government related, very short staff. Um, another important thing that computer vision is used for um, is related to um, flight. And so um, this hasn't been a widely uh, used uh Thing now because of a lot of regulations, but um, a lot of people are trying to do um, automated drone delivery. And so to do that, you obviously would use GPS to navigate, and that doesn't specifically use computer vision. But when you're flying in airspace that you really don't know what is there because, you know, it's in the air, anything can be anywhere. Um, so it's really important to have a camera up there so that you can actually see where you're going and make sure that you avoid obstacles. And so if you really wanted to um, make this a widespread thing and automate you know, drone delivery everywhere, then you would want to have an algorithm that would use the camera and figure out, you know, where are the things in front of me, how far are them, and how can I move around to make sure that my flight path is clear so I don't destroy, you know, my entire drone or, you know, hurt someone. Um, so that's a very important thing. Um, obviously, everyone has heard of self-driving cars maybe at this point because they're so, you know, amazing and popular at this time. But, you know, basically self-driving car is just a car with like tons and tons of cameras and sensors. And the fundamental tool for self-driving cars is computer vision because they take images from, you know, the side, the front, all the blind spots, as well as, you know, sometimes they use LIDAR to get depth. But you take kind of the image and you can process and segment out where is the road, where are pedestrians, where are buildings. And combining that with GPS and maps, you're able to navigate the world seamlessly with any without any human intervention. Um, so those are just a few examples, but there are, you know, tons and tons, hundreds of things that computer vision can do. And it's really the paradigm of us taking the power that a computer has to do things really, really fast and process numbers from us and the power that we have to understand the structure and model of the world and combining that together to allow us to automate the way that we see and understand things.